I'm Sharmista Sharma and I'm Hindu. My name is Elizabeth Goldsmith and I'm Jewish. I am Muslim. My name is Caden Ellis and I am a non-denominational Christian. I think most of all it's uh, probably my culture and just uh, our concept of like God and afterlife and how karma affects you and how dharma, you know, surrounds us. We're polytheistic, so we have a lot of gods that we believe in, and so there's a god for everything. And um, when I was born, my parents, my mom is Lutheran and my dad was Jewish, and they kind of gave us the option, like we went to synagogue and church, and we could kind of choose which way we wanted to go, me and my brother. And we went to a Jewish school, and we liked the community a lot. And um, I decided to go with Judaism because I liked the way it focused on repairing the world and leaving the world a better place than how you found it. So. The thing I really love about it is that I don't have any doubts. So whatever question you have about Islam, there is an answer to it. So. Um, that's one of the things that I really love. And also, I love that it's hard to be a passive Muslim. It's kind of, you do everything, you follow everything, or you kind of don't do anything at all. So, at least people in my community and my family, a lot of the people that are Muslim are really strong in their faith. They're doing things for their community, for the Muslim community and for their outside community. Um, and I also love the diversity of Islam. You know, like when I'm going to my place of worship, it's rare to see all of one race. We have Bosnians, we have refugees from pretty much everywhere, and then we have a lot of American Muslims. So all of that kind of plays a part in it. Um, I would say the, the people that are true, because obviously a lot of people just say they're Christians. Um, it's just something that they, it's kind of a title that they put on, but the people like, when you see someone that's true in it and they're real and you can just tell like you get a feeling, it's, I don't know, it's nice. It's a nice thing to try to grasp and try to become for yourself. I think mostly it's because of the education that I attend a Catholic school, but um, I, so far I really like it and I've attended for four years now and it's a really good school and I really like Judge. Um, I attend a Catholic school because it's a good, they have, we have a really good um, education here and my brother came here and it was really accepting and good to his faith and didn't try to change his beliefs at all. Um, I've been attending Catholic school because one, my parents have always thought it was better education and they thought that it would have a more moral atmosphere for me, so I've been attending Catholic school since I was four years old. And then the education is obviously really good. I transferred from Skyline, so that's how I ended up coming here. Um, I like religion class sometimes, because I don't mind learning about other people's faith, because I'm really accepting of Jesus Christ and I'm really accepting of um, almost anyone's religion so it's cool to learn about other people's faith. Uh, I find mass fun sometimes. It's like it's nice to go to mass. I don't really mind it. It's nice to learn about other people's culture. It's nice to attend other people's ceremonies, traditions, stuff like that. Um, mass is just, I think of it as just another, like, seeing how other people do things in their religion, and I think that I like how it doesn't try to, like, convert me or anything, and it's just a good way to see how things are in other religions. Mass, um, it doesn't mean the same thing to me as it does to other people, and so I just kind of sit there reverently and so I guess it's a new experience, but yeah, I don't mind it too much. Um, I don't really think much about them. I mean, I still think of religion class as a religion. I grew up going to a, 
um, private school. So it's still just class for me, Bible class is what we used to call it. Now it's just religion, so it's not much of a difference. And then mass is kind of just chapels that I had at my old school. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Um, I think everyone's really diverse and accepting, so it's not that uh, different. It's not, it doesn't feel that weird at all, even though it's a Catholic school and stuff. Nothing's really been odd feeling about it. <laughs> um, to be a non-Catholic judge, it's not very, like I don't feel any different than anyone else because every, the religion teachers and everyone's really accepting and Everyone's just more interested in it than putting it down. I've never had a problem with like people putting it down, really. Um, I can't really tell. Don't really notice it. I know there's a lot of different religions here. Um, it's not just Catholic. There's obviously stuff going on with mass and whatnot, and they just make it easy for us that aren't Catholic to get along and go through the day. I think everyone is pretty diverse here, even though it's a Catholic school. Um, I think I'm the only Hindu in our grade, but it's still, uh, nothing really conflicts with it. It's pretty diverse, so everyone's pretty accepting. <laughs> the only time my faith has ever conflicted with the Catholic religion at Judge is when I'm in religion class and everyone seems to know more than I do and I have to start from scraps and everyone else has had an education on Catholicism and there's only a few of us who don't know very much. I mean, it's two different religions so it's always going to conflict, but um, I haven't felt like I've been pushed to do anything that I didn't want to do, so I don't know, it hasn't conflicted in that way. Yeah, there is a specific time. Um, the first prayer is a sunrise prayer, so that's usually I can get in before school. Even in winter, I can get it in like 7 a.m. Um, and then two of the prayers are actually like while I'm in school. And then, so those obviously conflict. And you can make them up when you go home, but it's just difficult. Um, and then we have two more prayers, one in the evening and one before you go to bed at night. So. No, it hasn't. Um, the education for Catholics is the Bible. Obviously, you guys have rituals and different things that Christians just don't have, or other denominations don't, and that's different for me, but it's still off of the Bible, so it's all pretty much the same. Well, usually in Christian faiths, uh, there's church, and you go to church, and in Hindu religion, you're usually at home, and there's a house church, so there's a church inside your home and you usually pray you know every day and uh, put offerings and you know um, light incense and stuff like that and it just differs only mostly because it's like really symbolistic it has a lot of a lot more like symbols and it's just it's more symbolistic when you're praying at home compared to going to church and then there are other um, ceremonies where you come together like uh, Diwali which is like the festival of lights or like Holi which is a festival of colors. Um, the ways that Judaism is different from Catholicism is it focuses mainly on making the world a better place and it doesn't focus as much on individual sins as much as overcoming them with being a good person and so it's not really, there's not a very strong focus on sins, which is, I think, the main difference. So, um, Jewish ceremonies are a lot different because, well, it's kind of different for us in America, I guess, because we don't speak Hebrew and everything is in Hebrew. And I can read Hebrew and I can understand a little bit, but it's kind of you're worshiping and praying in a different language. And I kind of like it because I don't like talking about, like I don't like praying in front of people, kind of. And so it's nice to be able to do it in a different language so nobody really knows what you're saying, but you're still putting out the meaning and saying what you need to say. And it's different because on 
Sundays when everyone else is going to Mass or church where we don't and we go on Fridays instead to synagogue. So, yeah. Um, I think it is because it's kind of a build on Judaism because like the Old Testament is kind of the Torah, so it's kind of good to see different views of the Old Testament or the Torah and just get to know other religions better. And I can be more like accepting of other people of different faiths when I learn about other religions. So, well, we pray five times a day, and that's kind of like a solo thing unless you do it with your family. And then our holy day is Friday around like 12.30, so I usually miss that, which kind of sucks. But it's pretty much just like a communal worship. We have a speech, which is called a khutbah, where the imam, which is, I guess like a priest, talks to us. Um, and then we have dua, which is like folding your hands and then just like supplication, I guess. But, and then we just all pray together. Um, you guys have a lot more, not strict, but you guys are, I don't know, you guys have different traditions and you guys really stick to those. Well, um, my religion, I guess, is a little more loose almost with things. Um, pastors kind of just talk about what they want. You don't really have to dress up. Obviously, you guys don't have to dress up that bad, but it's just looser, I guess. Um, another way it's different is by just Mass in general. Um, the whole communion. Um, at my church, we take communion maybe once a month, once every two months. We don't do it every day, um, every time we go to Mass. Um, I don't know if you guys do that, but at least every time we take Mass here, we go and we take communion. So um, that's different. And then also, we have a little bit different music. Um, we have different singers and artists um, come in and do different things for before and after service. Um, and our pastor um, is pretty much the same. Um, they talk the same. I mean, once they get to the actual homily, it's just them talking, trying to spread God's word the way they do. We have grape juice instead of wine.